everybody, I'm Agent Fluffy, and welcome to my fanfic read of my own fanfiction. This one is called Flowey's Best Friend. It's an OP crossover with Undertale. Oh my god, I am so excited. With my special guest, Sly Hedo as Flowey. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. Chapter 1, Fallen into the Underground. I was walking in a leafy forest, admiring the trees and flowers blooming in a brisk breeze flow through my mane. After a mile of walking, I found an unusually gigantic hole in the ground. It was big enough to swallow a gigantic dragon. It was a deep, dark hole, too. Hmm, I wonder what was down that hole, I thought to myself in curiosity. At first, I was scared and unsure to go down it. I don't know what is down there, though. My teeth clenched and beads of sweat were dripping down my face in fear. I wiped the sweat off my face and mustered up the courage to look inside. Hello? Is any pony there? I yelled into the hole. I hesitantly took a step forward and fell through the hole with the ground collapsing. Oh, sweet Celestia! I hope that doesn't hurt! I screamed. Thanks, Celestia, I landed without a scratch. It was dark underground except for a little sunlight where I fell through. I landed on a pretty patch of golden flowers that glistened through the sunlight. I was scared, but something compelled me to move through the darkness. I moved along in the darkness. I couldn't see where I was going. It was terrifying. As I trotted through the darkness, having no clue where I was, I see another patch of light in what looks like a single golden flower with a face bouncing up and down with its stem. I walked up to it to curiosity, and I heard a voice coming from nowhere. Howdy! It said. I jumped and squealed at the top of my lungs, worrying when, wondering where the voice came from. The voice was high-pitched. Ahem. The flower cleared its throat. I looked around. I wasn't sure where the sound was. I looked at the flower and asked for curiosity. Was that you who spoke to me? Yep. The flower replied. I was shocked to find the flower talking. I didn't know this place had talking flowers. I was curious to learn more about the flower. I asked the question sheepishly. What is your name? Yeah, you don't mind me asking. My name's Flowey. Flowey the flower. It replied. What a cute name. I told Flowey, its petals became slightly red, which I assumed was embarrassment. Aw, golly. That's the nicest thing anyone said to me. Are you a boy or a girl? I asked it. I'm a boy. Flowey replied. By the way, what is your name? I'm Fluttershy, I replied. Flowey smiled a grin as he bounced on the stem. Golly, what a beautiful name for a pony such as yourself. He complimented. I'm shocked that he knew I was a pony. I blushed with rose red cheeks after he complimented me. I looked at him with a cute yet caring face. You are the cutest flower I have ever seen. I can't resist your cuteness. I burned out. Ah, no one ever called me cute before until now. Golly, we just met and now you're showering me with compliments and flirting with me? Holly turned slightly redder. So, what brought you to the underground? He asked. Well, I found a gigantic hole in the ground near every forest and well, I guess I fell in, I replied. Ever free forest, huh? Well, I've never been there. Lolly said with friendliness. I was just wondering. Will you be my best friend and take me to the Everfree Forest? He asked me. Of course I'll take you to the Everfree Forest and take you to my place. I reply with kindness. Thanks, Fluttershy. I'm so tired of being stuck in the underground for so long. Golly, Fluttershy. You're the nicest and cutest pony I've ever met. Lolly said. Thank you, Flowey. That was very kind of you. I replied with a blush. What can I keep you in? I asked. You can put me in a flower pot so I can thrive. There is always one around. I really want to get to know you better, Fluttershy. He replied. Suddenly, I noticed that a flower pot had appeared nearby. It was too far for Flowey to reach, so I approached the flower pot and moved it toward Flowey. 
Don't worry, Flowey. I'll take good care of you. I should, Flowey. Golly! Thanks, Fluttershy! His petals turn a brighter red. I flew him up from the underground and arrived at every free forest, making sure to land on the patch of ground that looks safe and secure. Chapter 2 Journey to Fluttershy's Cottage After I got out of the hole with Flowey, I trod a neighbor free forest. Flowey was amazed by its beauty and majestic scenery. Wow, Fluttershy! The Everfree Forest is beautiful! Golly, this is a wonderful place! It's just you and me now, Fluttershy. Flowey winked at me and it was the cutest thing that I've ever seen from a flower. So, Fluttershy, where do you live? He asked me. Oh, I live in a cottage with my adorable animals. I think you're going to like them, Flowey, I replied. Flowey gave me a smile as he reached the edge of a free forest to my cottage. <laughs> I hope so. Say, what kind of animals do you have? He asked. I have birds, bunnies, bears, and a bunch of other creatures. I replied. I trod out a ponyville to every free forest to get to my cottage. Well, here we are, Flowey, I said. Flowey gave me a smile of joy as he bounced in the flower pot. Golly, Fluttershy! You have such a nice place to live! I wish I had a nice place like yours, so I could live in peace without humans bothering me every time that they land in the underground! Oh. He groaned in frustration. When Flowey mentioned humans, I was shocked beyond belief! What is a human? I asked. Oh, <laughs> they are creatures that have fingers and legs. Also, they like to kill flowers like me. <laughs> he replied sadly. Shortly, he sobbed in sadness. <laughs> oh my, that's awful! <laughs> you poor thing! Thankfully, I saved you from those horrible creatures. I said with pity. I felt bad for what Flowey was going through. Flowey was inflicting through so much pain. Flowey stopped crying after I emphasized with him. Thank you, Fluttershy, for helping me feel better. Golly, I never had a pony who could feel my pain before. He said with a smile. I'm the element of kindness, after all, I said. Fluttershy, I didn't know you were the element of kindness. Flowey said in shock. I entered my cottage for Flowey. I put him down on the table. I let Flowey know what is going to happen in the evening. Okay, Flowey. I'm having a sleepover with my friends. It's in two days, I told him. Golly gee! <laughs> Who knew that a pony like you have friends? You are my first one. Flowey replied. Yes, in fact, I have five of them, I replied. Flowey was intrigued by my answer. Huh, what are their names? I would really like to get to meet them. He asked me. Well, their names are Twilight Sparkle, Applejack, Rainbow Dash, Rarity, and Pinkie Pie, I told him. Golly, you have so many friends. I wish I had at least as many as you. Flowey said enviously. Oh yes, as long as you're nice and kind to every pony, you're sure to make great friends, I said giving him advice. As the times passed by, Celestia rolled her sun and Luna raised the moon. It was getting late and it was almost bedtime. Oh my, Flowey, it's getting very late. I had to get to bed soon, I told Flowey. It's quite alright, my sweetest Fluttershy. I have to get to bed too. Good night, dearest Fluttershy. He said. Good night, my sweet Flowey, I replied. I trod to my bedroom. I laid down in my comfortable bed and pulled up my bed sheets. As I tried to go to sleep, I heard a loud noise coming from downstairs. I squealed a surprising sound. I trotted downstairs to see what the loud noise was, and here was Flowey snoring loudly. His snoring was as loud as a bear roaring. I groaned quietly with frustration trying to figure out how to get back to sleep. <sighs> I'm a light sleeper. I can't believe he's snoring so loudly. I thought to myself, I looked inside the drawers in the kitchen. There were no earplugs anywhere. I couldn't sleep with Flowey snoring. Then if Flowey is sleeping peacefully, I'll let him sleep. I guess I have to stay up late, I thought. The next morning, Flowey woke up with a snort. 
I had heavy bags under my eyes. I was so sleepy and tired. He yawned and greeted me with the same friendliness as yesterday. Good morning, my dearest, sweet Fluttershy. How did you sleep last night? He asked me. <sighs> Actually, not so good. I didn't sleep at all. I had trouble sleeping. I replied with a yawn. Aw, uh, why not? Flower well, asked. How should I put, put this in a nice kind of way? I asked myself in deep thought. Because you were snoring. You were snoring so loudly, I couldn't sleep all night. I said. Golly! I'm so sorry, Fluttershy. I just can't help it. He said sadly. His feelings were hurt. How about you snore quietly? I can sleep very easily. I am a light sleeper. I asked nicely. Fluttershy, what is a light sleeper? He asked me. Oh, that's when some pony gets woken up easily by loud noises like snoring. I answered. Oh, I get ya. Flowey said. Oh, I want to introduce you to my pet bunny. His name is Angel. Isn't he the cutest? I said excitedly. Ah, golly gee, he's cute. He said. Yes, he certainly is adorable. I said. But you are the cutest of all, Fluttershy. Well, he flirted. Aw, thank you so much. I played while blushing. I'm hungry, Fluttershy. Flowey said. What would you like to eat? I asked him. I would like whatever you make, Fluttershy. He replied. Okay, coming right up, I said. I tried in the kitchen and made him a salad with lettuce and spinach. Your food is ready, I called out from the kitchen. I trod over to where Flowey was and delivered him his food. Thank you, sweetheart, Flowey said. You're welcome, I politely replied. He ate the salad and smiled. Mm -hmm. This is delicious, Fluttershy, Flowey said while licking his mouth. I'm glad you like it, I said smiling. My eyelids are getting heavy. I was ready to doze off. Well, I noticed my eyelids drooping. Ah, uh, Fluttershy, are you okay? What's the matter? He asked me. My vision slowly became hazy as I struggled to stay awake. Oh, it's nothing. It's just that... <sighs> I trailed off and yawned. I need a nap, I finished. I slowly closed my eyes so I couldn't stay awake any longer. I dozed off for a short bit while standing up. I breathed quietly. Fluttershy, wake up! I need your help! He shouted. I woke up with a squeal of fright! Please, Polly, don't scare me like that! I said, terrified. So what do you need help with? I asked. I need water! I'm thirsty! He replied. Okay, Flowey, I'll give you some water and I'll pour some water in the pot. I said. The poor thing hasn't had water very recently. What if he dies? I thought with fear. I trotted past the kitchen into the garden to get my watering can. I trotted to the kitchen and turned the sink on. I held the watering can in my hooves to get the water in it. I tried to the living room where Flowey was at and watered the pot with the watering can in my hooves. Flowey sighed and content for watering him. Flowey said in contentment. Ah, thank you, my sweet Fluttershy, for watering me. That was so refreshing. You're welcome, Flowey, I said, smiling. Golly gee, no wonder you're the element of kindness. He said. As evening passed, the sun was setting, the moon was rising. Flowey yawned. Ah, gee, Fluttershy. Thank you so much for doing these wonderful things for me, and the hospitality. He said sleepily. Aww, you're welcome, Flowey. Well, it is getting late, isn't it? I said. Good night, my adorable Fluttershy. Flowey asked. Ah, <sighs> yes, I said with yawn. Well, I'm going to sleep pretty soon. I promise I'll snore quietly this time. He said. Okay, good night, Flowey. I said. Good night, my adorable Fluttershy. He said sweetly. He blew me a kiss in the wing, which was adorable. I trotted upstairs to my bedroom and lied down on my bed, pulling up my bed sheets. Finally, I was able to sleep. 
Fly was snoring quietly downstairs, the most adorable sound ever. I closed my eyes and rested for night, breathing quietly while I slept. The next morning came. I was sleeping peacefully. I finally got my sleep. Good morning, sweetheart. He said sweetly. Good morning, my dear Flowey. I said. How did you sleep last night? He asked me. Oh, I slept really well. Actually, it felt pretty great. Thanks, Flowey. I replied with a smile. Golly, I'm glad to hear it. He said with a smile on his face. This morning, I made breakfast for Flowey and my animals. I looked at the clock and realized it was almost feeding time for my animals. Okay, Flowey, I'm going to get food for the adorable animals. I'll be right back. Be a good while I'm gone, okay? I asked him politely. Yes, my dearest sweet father shy. I'll be a good flower. Well, I said sweetly. As I'm feeding him for my animals, I noticed something strange with Flowey. He had a different face. Something that would give Philly's nightmares. The grin was jagged and menacing. I heard him laughing maniacally. <laughs> Soon, <laughs> I'll bring pain to Ponyville and all that live in it. It's kill or be killed in this world. No one is going to stop me now. <laughs> he laughed maniacally again. I could not believe what I just saw. A sweet, adorable flower turned evil. I marched in room where Flowey was at. Flowey, what did you just say? That was not nice, Flowey. I said evilly. Flowey reverted back to his friendly self. <laughs> oh, Fluttershy, my sweetness. You didn't hear anything from me. It was just a joke. <laughs> Flowey laughed nervously. I know he was lying, but he was still denying it. Flowey, I know you said something. What was it? Oh, yes. It was killed or be killed, am I right? I asked him. Flowey laughed nervously and swept her down his face. Fluttershy, I... I didn't say that. I, I told you it was a joke. He said nervously. I was mad at him so much that I had to put my hoof down. Flowey, you are in big trouble right now. So why don't you just admit that you said those things while I was feeding the animals? He was shocked to the point of wanting to cry. He broke down crying and suddenly it turned into a maniacal laugh. <laughs> He dropped his belly facade into a more terrifying face. Yes, I admit it. I'm tired of this friendly act all along. Now I'm going to bring suffering and pain to Ponyville for all of eternity. <laughs> no one can stop me now. It's kill or be killed in this world. Now. I just want you to be out of the picture for all time. <laughs> he said with an insane grin on his face. No, you're not, Flowey. This time, I'm going to put you back where you belong. I shouted. <laughs> no, you're not putting me back in the underground. Flowey shouted. Yes, I will, with the help of my friends. I said confidently. Suddenly, there was a knock on the door. Hey, Fluttershy, we're here for a sleepover. We're coming in. Twilight Sparkle said. The door opened, and there were my friends all carried sleeping bags over their shoulders. As soon as they saw Flowey was a maniacal grin, their facial expressions changed to shock. Wait, Wait! What? They shouted in unison. I found him in the every forest. He was so nice, but he's evil. He's an evil flower. Help me! I explained. Looks like Flower gone bad. We're going to get that there wrong for you, Flush, huh? Applejack said. Yeah! Your name Pinkie Pie shouted in unison. Wait! Why are there so many ponies? No! Flowey screamed. We passed Ponyville and went inside the Everfree Forest to find a gigantic hole. Please! Don't drop me back down that hole to the underground! I'm begging you! Flowey begged. Nope! You're going down there no matter what! Applejack replied. On the count of three, we let go of Flowey, no! dropping him down the hole, and he was consumed by the darkness, never to be seen again. We cheered and celebrated for the victory. That was one adventure I would never forget. Meanwhile, down in the underground. Ah, 
I can't believe her! She... After all that trust I gained from her, she was actually pretty nice too. She gave me food, gave me water, gave me love. Actual love, not LV. Oh. <laughs> Fluttershy, don't you worry. I'll be back, and golly, you can bet on Adscore that your soul will be mine. <laughs> Stop me now! <laughs>